Ambassador Christian Berger, Your Excellency Bishop Claudio, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen diplomats, ladies and gentlemen, Ayu Asdika, Bi Masha Ira Kawiatin, Sadikatin, Natasha Rafu, Bismil Ma'ada Dominican, Lidirasi Alker Asharikia, Bi Istikbalikum, Fika Atil Seminar, Litahtafila wa iyakum bi iftitah al rasmi li kursi anawati al lazi yad amuhu kismu hukuki li insan al tabi'u li mufawaddiya al ittihad al urubi. Awaddu badi adi badin anu abbira an shukrina wa imtina nina. للإمام الكبار شير الأزار الجاري والصديق الذي ساندى مشروع الكرسي الذي تحمل معودنا مسؤولية إقامته ولم يتوانى الشير الإمام في تشجيء مختلف أي الأزار في مواصلة مشاركاتهم معنا من أجل دعم الصحراء هذا الكرسي وفي هذا الإطار لا يستعوني إلا أن أعبر عن امتناني لشركائنا وأخصص بالذكر السائدة ريام سلام ريام سلامة مدير مرصد الأزار لمكافحة التطرف الذي تندرج التزامته في قلب المشروع هذا الكرسي شكراً سيدتي أود أيضا أن أوجه تحياتي الحارة إلى دكتور مراد ريفي مدير معاد المخطوطات العربية الرجل ذي الثقافات العالية وذي نزعات الإنسانية والملتزم بالنقود بالغناء الأخلاقي والإنسانوي للتراث الإسلامي إن هذا الكرسي سيمدون لا محالة بمزيد من الفرص من أجل مواصلة تشاركنا المسمير شكرا لكم سيدي أريد كذلك أن أقرب عن مشاعر صداقتي للدكتور أمار نور الدين من مؤسسة هندوي ولكل أفراد هذه المؤسسة كم وجدنا بالجواركم من الحماس والأنفوان من أجل مساعدة ضعاف البصر على الحصول على مستوى معرفي يداهي مستوى الجامعي شكرا لكم شكرا لمحمد صلاح شكرا لولي أحمد دوسوكي Un immense merci également à vous, Madame Mona Sobri, directrice du Centre d'enseignement du français. Et si je prends la parole en français, c'est aussi pour vous honorer, Madame. Vous avez été une source d'inspiration de nombreuses activités que nous avons organisées et que nous menons dans le cadre de cette chaire. Je dois vous avouer bien humblement que sans vous, je n'aurais sans doute pas disposé de la même énergie pour mener à bien notre projet. Alors, merci, chère madame. Finally, my warmest thanks to Mrs. Ilaria Betty for her advice, support and excellent help throughout the development of our the project. Our deepest gratitude to her and the entire human rights section of the delegation. When you entered the Institute, you may have seen the dedication, here lift George Shehata Anawati. But what does this project to combat the sources and roots of religious extremism bear Anawati's name? Let me tell you a little bit about this Egyptian brother born in Alessandria. 
his vocation did not at first seem to lead him to the study of Islam. He had studied pharmacy, and no doubt, because one never forgets one's first love, this love continued in our very own convent. To the shock of his neighbors, he continued to conduct experiments with his room at the priory resembling a laboratory. It is no exaggeration to say that it was a personality brimming with enthusiasm and energy. In his diary, written in 1920s, he wrote, I am madly ambitious. I want to be St. Thomas Aquinas, Savonarola, and all the great men in turn. Nothing less than that. After his theological training, he became a Dominican and devoted himself entirely to the study of Islamic heritage. He was one of the three founders of our institute in 1953, 70 years ago. Through his studies, he aimed to provide an in-depth, serious, and rigorous knowledge of Islam in order to better understand the history of Latin Christian theology. Indeed, while there is a tendency today to pit the West against the East, Anawati's understanding of history demonstrates the importance of dialogue between East and West during the Middle, A the Middle Ages and how this dialogue bore much fruit. Not surprisingly, for a former pharmacist, he set his sights on Avicenna. He studied the canon of medicine, which incidentally states that the best medicine is friendship. <coughs> Convinced of the importance of Avicenna, whom he translated and edited, Anawati writes, the greatness and importance of his work is to have crossed the immense frontiers that separate Persia from Europe. And he adds, there is no iron curtain for ideas. This is a powerful argument in keeping with the revival of historical thinking in the same vein of Father Terry's work on Toledo and the school of translation founded around 1130. We know that Gerard of Cremona translated Avicenna's canon of medicine and Shifa as early as the 12th century, which contributed to the penetration and dissemination of the ideas and concepts carried by Ibn Sina throughout European academic circles as exemplified by the treatise of the soul, Makal fil Nafs, written by Canon Gundisalvi. By shedding light on the relationships between ideas, philosophies, and religions, we can build today's interreligious dialogue. It is a big job, and we are well aware of it. But here again, Father Anawati encourages and drives us forward. His work was colossal. Imagine going to bed at 3 a.m. and getting up at 5 a.m. But his contemplation bore fruit and was shut around the world. It opened the doors of universities in Egypt and all over the world. He is in Rabat, Toronto, Paris, Baghdad, Beirut, Madrid. Knowledge transcends the closed spaces of ideology and builds bridges between people of different cultures. It helps to deconstruct the narrow mindedness and decontextualized interpretations that breed 
extremism and rejection of others. For him, cultures and religions must be approached with lucidity and objectivity, he writes. We must not let human patience, in the pejorative sense of the word, disturb the serenity of our judgments. And he continues, we must not remain prisoners of the limits imposed on us by our ways of seeing and feeling. Here, therefore, he therefore calls for a revolution in our understanding of religions, not only on the other's religion, but also of our own. In 1949, together with Louis Gardet, he contributed to a landmark work, Introduction à la théologie musulmane. The work was prefaced by Louis Massignon, professor at the Collège de France, and friend of Taha Selim al bishri the son of the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar. Massignon had lectured at Fouad University on the relationship between language and mysticism. He abandoned the idea of writing out his lectures, preferring spontaneous expression and direct exchange with students. This helped Anawati, in the words of Massigno, to learn with them how to think and reflect together in order on coordinated subjects, letting us glimpse in the change of rhythm and tone, the very hesitations and missteps of the sentence, the work of thought, poor thought, and its verbal exposition. This is Massignon in al uniform, and it is really a scene of inculturation. <laughs> Anawati's teaching and many speeches are in line with this pedagogical approach and with the same verve. But to this should be added an emblematic Egyptian ingredient, humor. Every time he spoke, a burst of laughter could be heard. And at the end of his speeches, he would once again capture the hearts of his audience with his humor mingled with sustained applause. Father Anawati had spoken serious words, the words of a scholar, but he had chosen his words to warm hearts, to his tensions, to create a warm climate that enables men and women of different backgrounds and religions to find each other and feel like brothers and sisters. Waliyawma wa nahnu nahtafi bil bil abqanawati min ghilal hazal kursi nawaddu idraja anfusina bi azmin la tashubuhu shaiba fi hazal masar وفي هذه الروح المعرفية والأكاديمية ونجعل من الحوار بين الثقافات أساسا من أسسنا نعلم أن الطريق طويل وأن المعمة صعبة ومتنوية وإن كان ليالنا أقل طولا من ليالي الأب فنحن لا نعدم طاقة ولا حيوية واسمه لي أن أثني على أعداء المعاد المقيمين في القايرة والذين يتحملون كل حسب اختصاصاته مسؤولية إنجاح أنشطة الكرسي الأر جون درويل الأمين الأم المتخصص في النحو العربي و 
الار ادريان كونديار ادريان كونديار المترسس في علم الكلام والذي ناقش السنه الماضيه رساله دكتوراه اولى فكر ابن تيميه والاستاذ عزيز هلال عزيز هلال فين اوكي الاستاذ عزيز هلال فيلسوفنا الذي لا يخفى عليه شيء من فلسفة فارابي الآر ماتيوس دا سيلفا ماتيوس دا سيلفا مدير مكتبتنا هو أيضا فيلسوف ولا يتوانى في ننويرنا بمعارفه وبما نجود به ذاكرته القوية والآر ماتيو بالاري طالبنا الشاب والمتعلق الذي يتفانى في خدمة الآخرين والاستماع إليهم تنتظرون محم كثيرة مدرجة في برنامج الكرسي مجموعة سيمينارات وندوات مختلفة المدرسة الصيفية لقاءة كثيرة تعلن عن نفسها كلقاء طلاب الدكتورات المصريين مع نظرائهم في حوض البحر المتوسط وإقامة حلقات الأخوة من أجل كل ذلك أشكركم سعادة السفير على سقتي التي تدعونها فينا وكمواصلة وتتمة لحياة الأب قنوات ودخسه يمكنكم الاعتماد على عزيمتنا ووحيويتنا للأعمال مع أصدقائنا المصريين من أجل مناحظة التطرف وبالخصوص التطرف الديني وذلك بالنهوض بالحوار بين العديان إن الحوار هو هويتنا مادنا وحاضرنا ومستقبلنا شكراً